I live more in the suburbs outside of the, you know, main city. I actually have a thing I can walk outside to, which is nice. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't come out here all the time. But I don't know. It's a really nice day. I want to get that sun in and just be recharged. I'm a little bit burnt out. Not of, like, anything specific that I'm working on, but just kind of my creative energy in general. I don't know. Today just feels like one of those days where I think I'm going to just take the day off. Take the day off. No, you got to grind. Work 24-7. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how I feel sometimes. Like, I'm a freelancer and I have this privilege. I have this privilege of working whenever I want and I still kind of always hold myself to this rigid Monday through Friday schedule. And, you know, I've been so busy lately on the weekends. Don't get me wrong, it's with fun stuff, going to a lot of concerts. I feel like I haven't had actual genuine time to rest and be bored and, you know, just actually do nothing one day and just recharge my creative energy. That way I can hop back into these client projects and some personal work. With that being said, this is a day off in the life of a graphic designer. So I got these two books recently. I've been wanting to look at these more. Uh, this punk one I actually got for my, what was it, birthday from my friend Kale, so shout out to them. And just use these little sticky notes and kind of flag anything that I think could be cool as like a reference material for a future project. Here's something I've been doing that's a pretty cool workflow. I like to save a lot of physical references into my mood boards like in Arena. And sometimes I'm a little too lazy to scan them in. So what I'll do is just take the photo with my iPhone, sign into the iCloud, and I can just download all these super quick and upload them right into the mood board that I want. Just kind of a little workflow thing that I been doing recently wanted to show you guys I don't know not really anything too innovative or whatever but pretty fun little workflow So a lot of times when I'm working and I'm not taking this day off or whatever, I don't have time to, I do have time. I don't make time to actually go out to places I like to eat or have a nice like time cooking. I'm always rushing, eating like a frozen meal or eating something I already meal prepped before and just kind of eating to get energy and not really enjoy like food and the act of taking a break to eat. There's not as many good food spots now that I don't live right in the city, but a few areas around here do have some bomb spots and I'm gonna go to one of my favorites. So let's get over there. Yeah. Uh, half sandwich. 
wedge half soup yeah. with the uh, uh, roast beef. this place because it's kind of old but well, old world obviously in the name but it's still clean and they have like just bomb food and all these cool like old sodas behind me and stuff and it's always just fire honestly mm. nice to you know, be able to come here and just enjoy lunch and that worry about work so much. I feel like one of the main reasons I've been burnt out is even when I'm not that busy, I'm just working on so much shit and personal projects, this and that. Like my brain can't have an empty calendar. It's, I think it's a bigger problem at hand, but I'm trying really hard to be bored and just enjoy like doing nothing like this every once in a while. It's such a step up. I've literally been eating like frozen food and fucking um, meal prep, trying to eat healthier. But I mean, gotta enjoy yourself, you know? Shit gets boring after a while. Yo, so I like this place so much, I had to cop the old world deli drip. I really wanted the old, like, vintage ones that they had, but I don't think they're selling them anymore. So there's this record store over here, like, behind me, called the Midnight Hour. Uh, they have another one in San Fernando Valley where they play a bunch of hardcore shows and stuff. I'm going to go check it out right now, see if there's any records I could find or anything. Drain actually just played at the other one recently for this like Halloween show, but I'm just gonna put my bag away and then probably head over there and see what's up. All right, let's go. I love all like the type around here too on all the businesses. Like we got that fire uh, Bengua or whatever it's called and that cool greens lock sign. And like, they're all just custom, you know? Before it was all, you know, the one with the red, the red font in Helvetica or whatever, just every sign looked like that. También un camaro y ropa de marca que también portamos en PC de cero batallando y mi Honestly, a lot smaller than the other store, but overall, I thought it was nice. Um, yeah, once we get back to the crib, I'll do a little haul and show you maybe some of my other favorites from the collection right now. It's weird being out around here before uh, five or six because people actually have jobs and shit. When I would go out into the town in LA, especially in Hollywood, West Hollywood, Silver Lake, places like that, you just see all these unemployed people or like influencers or content people or freelancers like me and just walking around at coffee shops and shit in the middle of the day. Here, it's like all just retired people or like young kids that you see at this time. I don't know. Today's been pretty chill so far. And I'm going climbing later with the homies, so maybe I should uh, take the day off more often on a weekday. And I think right now I'm going to head over to uh, this spot called In-House Coffee.
think I'm just going to write my newsletter or something. Get that out of the way since I can something I can do on my laptop. Because honestly, I, I think I forgot to add the InDesign contract template that I usually use for my projects to Google Drive. Uh, I can't really access it. So I'd have to do that at the, at the house or something. Probably just chill here for a bit and then... I was trying to write my newsletter, but the Wi-Fi was ass. And I, like I said, I forgot my other thing. So even the universe wants me to take my uh, proper day off, I guess, and not get any work done, which is fine. I think I'm going to read this book a little bit. Um, I haven't been reading a lot lately, and I've been wanting to read more. So here's my opportunity. But it's called Starry Messenger. But I feel like I'm always reading so much design books and being invested in like research and inspiration that it's nice to read actual books like a graphic novel or a fiction book or whatever. I tend to gravitate towards nonfiction, but I think I'll just read for a little bit, finish this, and then probably grab a little treat and a drink for my girl on the way home. I've been messaging my homies I go climbing with and they haven't responded yet, so. We might play basketball, we might climb, I don't know. I only got a, two records over at the uh, record shop. I got this bleached one. I thought it was pretty cool. And I thought this was pretty cool how they did like um, all these different typefaces up there for the different songs. And then I also grabbed this Mimicking Birds Eons. This is a band I got put onto a while ago now. Uh, I really liked them at the time. It's kind of like a Modest Mouse vibe, kind of some softer indie stuff. And honestly, the cover art was cool. It was only 18 bucks. And I remember the song Bloodlines being really good. Like, I, I feel like records and especially are so important to me with just my work process and design process and also just leisure, like music and enjoying. And I was thinking maybe I'll share maybe my five uh, favorite records right now. Let me see. Let me see what I'm working with. Give me a sec. It's really nice outside, so I thought, let's just do it outside real quick. Yo. Let's go. That's so tight. He's got the elote back there. So the first one, we have some old burritos from Chalino Sanchez. Great record from Mexico. Um, you've probably seen the famous clip of him playing uh, that sh his last show ever where they handed him that note and it was actually saying that they were gonna kill him. Dude was a badass. Get Behind Me Satan by the White Stripes. Amazing record. I actually found this record. Not this one, but the, the a CD version of this on the ground at my middle school or maybe it was elementary school and it was one of the first records I ever had on CD and it was, I love that album. It's so good, just amazing drumming by Meg White and great vocals and songwriting by Jack White. Reptilians, this one's awesome. It's kind of like some soft, more uh, indie, like pop-ish style, kind of, I don't know, dream wave or whatever you want to call it. Kind of jazzy too. It's led by this uh, female bass player and singer, Reptalian, super dope. If you like bands like Starfucker and stuff like that, you'll like them. This band I've been in love with lately, Magnitude, some straight edge hardcore. They just have such an amazing sound and I really love like, it reminds me of like that older kind of New York straight edge hardcore, but 
with modern breakdowns and vocals and this shit's awesome shout out magnitude and lastly we got a og little throwback grover washington jr mr magic this is an amazing album jungly sounding kind of like ethereal jazz like funky fusion type shit i don't even know what to call it but it's just this shit's badass so there's five records for you if you need something to work to or just vibe out to whatever I think I'm just gonna go inside probably now and get ready, get my climbing shoes, hit up my homies real quick, see what we're doing, and then mob over there. Also got a new sticker for my uh, sticker book. Julia Fletcher, I think is where I stole this idea from. I always love stickers, but I don't like putting them on my electronics and stuff, so I started doing the same. I just put them all in this uh, sketchbook. That way I can always, you know, look back and see what kind of design stuff was going on at the time. And shout out Merch Babe and Roman Candle. I'll probably throw this one up in here or something. Didn't really fit. So I just put it on its own page. Which one? The logger? Uh, no, they have uh, this. It's a double IP. It's not very Next to rock yeah. like Mick Foley. Yeah. It's Nick Joby, kill him softly, play that shit slowly. Mm. On the keys like Tony, throwing subs, they get toasted about my bread like a hoagie. Yeah. This beat ice nice. cold, look how I ride the Zamboni. I feel like old Tani, good anywhere you throw me. Right. She eat a Chobani, cause her body getting bony. Yeah. Late night, heavy scrolling, vape light, heavy smoking. Yeah. We got our healthy habits, hey. we've been already growing. Okay. It's like we drowning in them, yeah. it seems the levee's broken. Right. But it's not too late to change them And refrain from being slaves to the vices that encage them I'm writing on this page like I'm throwing hands with Satan Don't run from all those demons, gotta stand your ground and face them Sometimes you break, but through destruction comes a renovation We all just trying to build a foundation We all, we all. Been a ride through all the waves and the tides. Little emptiness inside from all them days with the guys. Try to mask it, but I know you see the pain in his eyes. All the lows and the highs, all the gray in the sky. Every reason I should throw away and swallow. Aha. Uh -huh. That's an IPA. Yep, that's an IPA. What's your review of it? Squirrel. All right. Sniff. You know, for old stump, I'd say a seven. It's like pretty good for, oh, old, for old stump. For old stump. Regular beer, it's probably a five uh, out of ten. Throwing shade at old stump. Yeah. Let's go. This looks good. My car window is so dirty. Driving home right now. Uh, I'm gonna chill for a bit and call it a night. Can't really have record in my car because I need my other hand, but I'm at a stoplight, so it works out. So I'm back at the house finally. I think um, I think a successful day off, you know. About to just I think take a shower and call it a night. I think I'll, I think I'll I'll do this a little more often. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.